So what we're going to do with this problem is we're going to look at each one of these two infinite series, and we're going to recognize each one of these series as a common Taylor series. Then using that common Taylor series, we're going to determine what this series adds up to. So to do this, we need a list or a table of common Taylor series to look at. Okay, so here is our common Taylor series list. If you look at this first series, you'll notice a pattern that looks a whole lot like one of these series to the right. This series here looks just like this series here for e to the x. Notice our first term is 1, our second term is 5, but our third term, we square that 5 and divide by 2 factorial, and the fourth term, we cube that 5 and divide by 3 factorial, and so on. So we notice that this given series is just a series for e to the x, except instead of x, we're using 5. So the answer to this particular problem is going to be e to the fifth power. We just replace x with a 5, and that's the series that we get. Okay, now take a look at this second series and see if you can spot which one of these common series um, our series looks like. Well, hopefully you can see right away that the pattern happening in our second series here looks just like the pattern happening in this 1 over 1 minus x series. We start with a 1, we add 1 fifth, then we square that 1 fifth, and then we cube that 1 fifth, and so on. So this given series is just a series for 1 over 1 minus x, but instead of x plugged in to the series, we're plugging in x equals 1 fifth. So our answer to this problem is that this series is going to sum up to 1 over 1 minus 1 fifth. Now we can do just a little bit of algebra, and we get that this given series should add up to 5 fourths, and that is our final answer. Okay, so that was another quick one. Let's do some more series problems in the next video. I will see you there.